Niger State Government says it's reviewing the security architecture in Munya local government area to increase the presence of security operatives. And this is coming on the heels of attacks that left two security personnel injured and scores of bandits neutralized. Chinami Obamae reports. The fight against banditry in Niger State by security agencies with help from the state government is yielding the right results even though it is far from over. Part of the government's initiative is to review the security architecture in Munya local government area and increase the presence of security operatives in the area. This is coming on the heels of recent attacks in villages in the local government area. Commissioner for Local Government, Community Development, Chieftaincy Affairs and Internal Security briefs journalists on the security situation in the state. He discloses that terrorists recently attacked Chibani, Fuka, Dandaudu and other adjoining communities in Munya local government area, where some people were killed and others kidnapped. The commissioner revealed that two security personnel were injured during the operation, and while one has been treated and discharged, the other is responding to treatment. In line with the directives of His Excellency the Governor of Niger State, you may recall that uh, we held there was a meeting shared by His Excellency in which um, we, there was a review of our security strategy in the state. That strategy has continued to yield fruitful results. A few days ago, we held a security meeting with the stakeholders, and by the directors of His Excellency, we are reviewing the entire security architecture in Muya local government, and the, the governor, with uh, the security agency's chiefs have improved security within that axis. And very soon, um, you will see large movements of troops around that, those areas. As the security forces continue their onslaught against bandits in Niger State, the government says it is doing all that it can to secure the release of Chinese experts that were kidnapped at the dam construction site in Wushishi local government area in the last two months. Chenemi Bamei, TVC News, Mina.